I don't have all the tests finished yet. I have to I have to grade them and put them in the grade uh, book. But I just want to review everything. Okay. Was it Larry? Was it Larry back? No. It was pretty good actually. Okay. Half steps and whole steps. Everybody got that one right mm -hmm. on the piano. You know, this is a half step from one white key to the black key. Mm -hmm. And a whole step from one white key to a white key. Except between E and F, right? That's a half step. And B and C is a half step, right? Everybody got that one right? <coughs> so that's good. Okay, now. Here's the clefs. Here's the first clef we had. That's the treble clef. And C was right here, or right here, or there's one here too. Okay, this is the next clef we had. This is the alto clef. And C is the middle line here. Okay, the next one we had was the tenor clef. C right there. And the last one was the bass clef. And then C is right here. Some music paper. You have a spare piece of music paper? Yeah. Want to give her one? Sure. Yeah, I've got one. Well, putting it behind this one, that's why. So I could. Oh, just, yeah. Just do a piece of music paper, too. Okay. When's the last day this of the semester? This summer, gosh, another month from now. Okay. Okay. Do you want to copy this down or just take a picture with your camera? Um, yeah, I'll take a picture. This summer, uh, I want to say the second week of December. All right. I think. Is that right? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the second. And the library will be open 24 hours. <laughs> Going there at 4 o'clock in the morning, all these people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> people walking around with books in circles. <laughs> <laughs> you go in there and you see some guy with like 15 papers spread out, stacks of books all around him, coffee, tea, Red Bull, and uh -huh. Monster and all spread yeah. out. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, and the guy's got three pairs of glasses he keeps changing, you know. Mm -hmm. You go and you see people like that. Claremont College is not <coughs> library is open all the time till one o'clock in the morning. <coughs> and during finals, it's open twenty four hours. Uh -huh. And when you go in there, it's insane. I mean, people I've I've left there at two in the morning and as I'm leaving, people start showing up with coffee. They're like you know, uh -huh. showing up. It's a big stack of work, you know. I'm like, wow. I couldn't do it. You were oh. titans from Saturn. <laughs> yeah. People are so intense. Okay, so those are the four clefs. What instruments use a treble clef? So, of course, guitar, right? Mm -hmm. And what else? Flute. What else? What are the string instruments? String, guitar, flute, uh, violin. Violin, yeah. And that funny looking thing, what's it called? <laughs> I forget the name of that instrument so the much. Funny looking thing. Yeah, it's a it's round, but it's got strings. Um, some round thing. Some round thing. I don't know. 
Ah. Okay, guitar, flute, violin. Mm. There's some other orchestra instruments. The little oh, tiny. Oh, that the big thing. The big thing is the what? The bass. Yeah. So that's the bass down here, right? That's the bass. Use a bass clap. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got guitar, flute, violin. And there's a really cello? tiny... Cello? Is it cello? Cello would be using this one, right? Oh, alto. Or this one. Okay. So the, the treble clef, guitar, flute, violin, and how about some brass instruments? Okay. How about trumpet? Ready? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Now what's the, do you know the name of the really, really tiny flute that they use in the orchestra? No, but I've seen it. The piccolo. <laughs> piccolo? Piccolo. piccolo. That's not a little bird. Trumpet. What else can we think of? Uh, the sax. What sax, would the sax, be sax would be, yeah, sax. Yeah, use a sax here. Okay. Sax could be more of this range now over here in these in this class, but it's usually this one. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 when in, in orchestras they use these clefs a lot for other instruments, you know, like trombone. Oh, the trombone, yeah. You know, uh, contra, bassoon, all those orchestra instruments. They use these clefs, but in jazz band, the sax use the treble clef for jazz. They don't use the alto or the tenor clef in, sa in jazz. Oh. They, they just use treble and bass clef in jazz and everything else. So sax, trumpet, piccolo, flute, guitar, violin. Probably one more. What's the black horn that's like straight? Made out of wood. It's black. Benny Goodman played it. Oh. Clarinet. Clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the bass clef, cello, bass. Now, what does piano use? Both, right? Bass and treble clef, right? Yeah. So the piano uses both of these. They don't use these two, but they use the other, the outer two, right? And the left hand on the piano plays this one, right? The bass. Yeah, I know. And the right hand usually plays that one, right? Early on, that was the basic rule, but now it's just a madhouse, and you can do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. People crossing over their hands, you know. Have you seen piano players do that? No. If you watch any really good classical pianists, they'll play scales and they'll cross over their hands like this, and they go up to scale. Oh, just yeah, one time, but I just didn't know it was it was they could flip flop. Yeah, yeah, flip flop. Oh, okay. 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 So you understand this? So these two clefs are mostly used in orchestra. But these are the ones you see every day, treble and bass. And since I'm a guitar player, I'm guilty of teaching, teaching these classes with a bias toward the treble clef because I, I play guitar. So I try to include bass clef, but my bias is always going to be toward the treble clef. Now Reed, when he teaches the class, he's a piano player, so he's always doing both clefs all the time. He's a bias toward the piano. Okay, so those are the clefs. Next question was, write the chromatic scale using sharps. We start with G. So there's G right there, right? So what's the chromatic scale? All half steps, right? So G, half step above G is G sharp, right? So you put G with a sharp in front of it. And a half step above G sharp is what? A, right? Okay, then what's a half step above A? A sharp. A sharp, right? Okay, now a half step above A sharp would be B, right? Then a half step above B, here's the rub, it's C, 
So here's your natural half step right there, right? Then a half step above C is going to be what? C sharp. Okay, now we go to the next letter. The half step above C sharp is going to be D, right? And then we got what? Half step above D? D sharp, D -sharp right? And then half step above D sharp is going to be the next letter, right? Mm -hmm. E, right? And then here's the rub again. Half step above E is going to be F. There's another natural half step right there. And then another half step above F is going to be what? F sharp. F -sharp. And then one more half step up to G, right? And there we go. There's a chromatic scale using sharps. Okay, so that's our chromatic scale using sharps. So if we want to use flats, we would go G. Instead of G sharp, I would go A flat, right? A. And instead of A sharp, I would go B flat. Then B. Then C. Then D flat. Then D. Then E flat. Then E. Then F. Then G flat. And then G. So there'd be flats. I don't want to get a picture of that one too. Okay, now, whole tone scale is every other note in the chromatic scale, right? Chromatic scale is all half steps, and a whole tone scale is all whole steps, right? So, I'm going to use a bass clef this time. So, we start on uh, G. So, get out your number lines if you have them handy. Now, what's a whole step above G? A. A, right? Mm -hmm. Then a whole step above A is going to be B, right? Now, here's the rub. What's a whole step above B? Not C, because C is a half step, right? A whole step above, above B. It's C sharp. C sharp. That's what I did wrong. That's why I'm going over this. Uh, okay, so now, now we want another whole step above C sharp. So a half step would be D, so a whole step would be D sharp, right? right. <clears throat> now, here's, a, here's an interesting one. What's a whole step above D sharp? So a half step above D sharp would be E, right? And a whole step would be F, right? So F sharp? Um, no, a half step would be E, oh yeah. and a whole step above would be F. Yeah. You could call this E sharp if you wanted to. But then you'd end up skipping a letter. So you're going to skip one anyway. So you could, you could have written F or E sharp, either one. F is good. 
There's a whole step there. D sharp to F is a whole step. So now a whole step above F would back, be back again to G, right? Mm -hmm. So there's the G whole tone scale. Okay, now we're going to do it using flats. Okay, so here's G, whole step to A, whole step to B. Now, a whole step above B would be C sharp, right? C sharp, we want to use the flats to notate it. So C sharp is the same as D flat, right? D flat and C sharp are the same note, right? So we use D flat. Then a whole step above D flat would be D sharp or E flat. It's the same note. So E flat. Then we got F. And then we got G. So those are the whole tone scales. All whole steps, right? Take a picture and tell you what. Okay, the next question was write a chromatic number line using sharps, and starting on any note. And we didn't even have this down, we just had letter names. So we start, let's start with uh, C. So chromatic number line using sharps, we're just gonna go in half steps, right? So C, half step up, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. That's a chromatic number line using sharps. Chromatic number line using flats would be C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C. That'd be the chromatic number line using flats. Okay, then we have some questions on just constructing major scales. Started with treble clef E flat. So the E flat major scale, remember the rules, first rule alphabetical. Two is a formula. Three, analyze, then put in sharps and flats. So E flat. Okay. These notes were already written for you here. Yeah, so we just go like this. So you had them all there already, right? They're already in alphabetic order. So you could you could also just write the letter names down here. Okay, and then we put our whole steps and half steps in.
Okay? Now we analyze E flat to F, that's a whole step. F to G is a whole step. G to A is not a half step, so we've got to make that A flat, right? A flat to B is not a whole step, it's more than a whole step, so you've got to make that B flat. Now B flat to C is a whole step, C to D is a whole step, and D to E flat is a half step. So those were pretty straightforward. Everybody did pretty good on those, all the major scales there. Okay, next one was write scales and key signatures. So the first one was D major. First question, so when you write scales and key signatures, D major, you start with D, right? And do the same process. You know, you can start with the letters, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D to start with, then put the notes in, then your formula, right, and then your sharps and flats, right. And then your key signature, two sharps, fat cats, right? Right? That's the order of the sharps, right? Fat cats gives dogs an endless battle. So if it's two sharps, it's going to be those two, right? In that order, F and C. And those are the two sharps on the scale. Okay. So we got all the major scales there. Okay, next one. Two pages of major scales. Then the matrix of fifths, that one's important, that was a good one. Everybody did pretty good on the matrix of fifths because they watched the video, huh? <laughs> so you just do the letter name, you start with C, okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, right? All right, and then G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, you can start analyzing it now or do it the easy way and just fill it all out first. I'd like to fill it all out first. It's much faster, makes more sense, all right? So, you just go one, two, three, four, five, D, One, two, three, four, five, A. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, E. One, two, three, four, five, B, right? One, two, three, four, five, F. And one, two, three, four, five, C again. Okay. So that's the whole table shorthand done quickly, right? You get you get it? Yeah, everything's good? Alright, now rather than do the tedious analyzing through whole steps and half steps, what do we got over here? What was that? The seventh one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every time we got a new sharp, right? Mm -hmm. 
So the first one, we got F sharp. That's our seventh sharp. That's one sharp, right? And that's F sharp, right? And that's fat. Next one's C sharp. And that's C sharp. That's cats. And then G sharp. Give. And then D sharp. Dogs. And endless. And then battle. Okay, so those are all our new sharps in every key, right? So the next step we just go, okay. We keep that one, and we already got that one. So then the next scale, we keep this one and this one. We keep those two, and that's our new one. The next scale, we keep those three, and that's our new one. The next scale, we keep all four of those. Scale, we keep all five of those. And then, then we got the next one. We keep one, two, three, four, five, six of those, and we got a new sharp here. So we got C sharp. And all these, since it's C sharp, everything is sharp, right? So you see the logic there? Okay, we're running out of time. So we're going to keep going over the midterm on uh, Thursday here. Okay. And then we'll keep going. I'll have them all graded by then, too. Okay. But anyway, so we'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for coming today. Yeah.